hello guys welcome to my channel i'm Emma Kelly, and here we're going to talk about a beginner basic beginner tutorial for the ibis paint which is a drawing app available for free on the google play store and also on the app Post store it's one of my favorite drawing app due to its conciseness and its easiness of usage so if you launch your app you'll be greeted by this menu which has your gallery collections online gallery then you have the settings and help button so i'm going to open my gallery my gallery you have the drawings in which you've been working or worked on will be available there i have some few drawings here i'm working on but to create a new one you have to click on the plus sign to create a new drawing when you click on that you'll be asked to select a canvas size which you can choose custom ones to available or you can set your own size a big canvas size is going to mean that you have less layers to work with so selecting canvas size big enough we mean less layers and we're going to work on this custom made canvas so here is my canvas the white space is my canvas now you have two sliders here and some icons there over there at the top the main tools will be hidden here under this paint tool and this paint tool reveals some of them or the main tools you are going to work on with today the first one is usually set to the brush the brush allows you to take strokes and this toggles your brush to an eraser When you struggle to an eraser, it will allow you to erase the strokes you just did. This will allow you to select a different pencil or a different pen to work with. Most of the pens here are free, as you can see, but some are locked, meaning that you have to watch an ad if you have an internet connection, normally an ad of around 30 seconds and it will allow you to use all of them for the next 18 hours let's use the technical pen over here this allows you to choose a color to work with you can change the sliders to choose a custom color or you can use the color wheel here to choose your colors palette i have few colors here but to add a few a new color to the palette you just set it to the color you like drag and boom the color is placed on the palette which you can now cannot draw with so this allows you to hide all the menus giving you better space to work with on the canvas you can toggle it up to bring it back here it shows up your layers your layers are like transparent paper in which you draw your artwork placed on top of or above each other to reveal the final artwork at, at last. To create a new layer, you click on the plus sign here to add a new layer. This will allow you to import a picture from your phone to be used or be placed in one of the layers this will allow you to flip the layers horizontally while this allows you to flip it vertically so this will allow you to move the layers so clicking on that you can now move the layer i'm working with this will delete the entire layer then this download to when you have two or three layers let me show you guys 
let's say I'm working on this layer and I have this layer this download sign usually placed on top of the first or the layer you want to merge with then clicking on it to merge the first layer and the second layer together now they are one to go back which you have the back sign on top of here which allows you to undo my last move which was to merge these layers then the interesting things about working with layer is that when you most effects you effect on the drawing only affects the layer you're working with let me say i want to clean clean off this drawing as you can see let's change my pen let's use a deep hard pen as you can see cleaning this layer doesn't affect the strokes on the first layer so that's it for the layer session let's look at our tools the transform tool allows you to move the drawing on the layer around as you can see it's moving that layers around why the the magic one it allows you to select every stroke that has the same color mark now i can move around like if i set it on the green i can move around the green colored strokes on the selection or i can now work on only the green colored strokes so that's it for the magic one the lasso allows you to draw the lasso allows you to select an area which you can work on or edict this can also mean you can also move it around yeah so as i just said the first three are selection tools which you can use to work with so the next tool here is the filter tool the filter tool has a lot of effects which choosing anyone is going to affect or change the drawing to look similar to the effect chosen you choose it and you press ok you can see it have affected the drawing there i can go back or save this but i don't need that so the next two we are going to talk about is the we've already discussed the brush which allows you to choose certain brushes available and also unlock the ones that are not available after you watch the ad for 18 hours the next one is the eraser the eraser same allows you to clean the strokes you've made on your drawings so you have the smudge too the smudge too allows you to smudge the marks you've made on a drawing and the blur too allows you to blur the strokes or the mark or the pixels of a drawing the next tool is the bucket tool the bucket tool allows you to fill in an area of the drawing with a selected color so if you want to fill in this part of the drawing you just have to click on the area that you want to fill you can also click multiple areas one thing the bucket tool cannot do is to fill in an area that is not enclosed let me show you what i mean there is a gap here so i can't fill in this space with my bucket tool clicking on that to mean the whole drawing you have to be filled up as you can see part of the drawing that is not guided round won't be filled with the bucket tool so the next tool is the text the text allows you to add the text to your drawing which is very easy just click on the area i want to add the text you write your text good morning then you click the good mark and you have your text written the next tool 
is the eyedropper. The eyedropper allows you to choose a color from the drawing we are working on. I want to choose this green color as I've lost it and let's say choosing it back here would be stressful and wasting our time. Just click your eyedropper to come on the mark. Boom. You have your green green color selected. So can now draw with the green color again. The next two there yeah, is the canvas. It allows you to change the size from here, trim or crop it, resize it, rotate it, flip it either horizontally or vertically. Let's say we want to trim this drawing. We want it to be of this size. And good. Our drawing is trimmed. At the top left, we have two buttons. When you make a stroke, you can undo it by clicking on the first at the edge of the left, which is this one, undo. Then you will see that the redo button appears. You can click on it to redo your previous strokes. That's it for the tools in Ibis Paint. So while you are through with the drawing, you have this back option. This back option allows you to save usually i save my drawing as a transparent jpeg but you can save it as a png or you can go back to your gallery let's say we save it as a png now our drawing is will be saved as an image on our gallery but let's say i'm not true working on this but i want to take a break i go back to my gallery and i will have this drawing selected and included as one of the works on my gallery which i can edit or work on later so that's it for now i hope you did enjoy this video thanks for watching like and subscribe and i will deliver quality content i promise peace and have a nice day